Yeah. All right. So next question is from Suzanne and in uh, Suzanne is in Noosa, Australia. Suburb of so, Chicago. Right. Exactly. In a way, in a way, uh, in we're a all way, one people. Is. We're all one world. I'm in, yeah. I'm just, uh, just a quick plane trip from Chicago, just right down the street. Um, what would you recommend for accounts with low budgets? Just use a few keywords and just hope that there are a good uh, few working keywords within there uh, or still use more keywords to get more data to work with. And specifically with accounts with just a few dollars a day, Suzanne is, is, has a couple clients and she's, you know, working with really small clients. She's excited to be in the industry and she's getting started. But hey, you remember the days back when you were like, I got a $300 client. Yeah, this is a big I, I remember the days. Chris, I yeah. still have small clients. I'm running search <laughs> campaigns myself that spend $7 right. a day for You're my right. own business. Like I'm there's nothing, about, yeah. yeah, there's nothing wrong with the small budget. So the first thing I would say to Suzanne um, <clears throat> is hello, mate. And then I would say, um, so one, I would not be discouraged. It definitely is possible, but I would definitely say you asked about only running a few keywords, only those good working keywords. Yeah, you only want to run keywords that work in general. However, I don't like the idea of limiting yourself just because you have a small budget. My mindset is different, especially with a small budget. I like to go as wide as possible. I like to go as wide as possible with keywords. I like to go as wide as possible with schedule. I like to go as wide as possible with location. The reason why is because when you only have a small budget, you need to get as low a cost per click as possible to get the most clicks per the budget. You always want to do that, but it's especially important when you have a really small budget. So how do you get a low cost per click? Well, you give yourself more chances to get a low cost per click. It's all about showing up on the most auctions possible. Every time someone searches your keyword in a location you're targeting during the times you're running, that's an auction that you have a chance to show up on. If you're only showing up on 30 auctions a day and everyone else is bidding high and you're in position four because you have a low bid, because you have a low budget, you're not going to get many clicks in position four. However, if you're showing up on five or 10 times that amount of auctions, then you will get away with getting a couple clicks in position four. So my mindset is to always go as wide as possible. Always give yourself a chance to get away with a low bid strategy. Get a, get, try to get as many clicks you can for that small budget. And you do that by bidding lower, by showing up lower. And when you bid lower and show up lower, you get clicked on less often, but you still get clicked on. You just have to give yourself a chance to get clicked on by showing up in a lot of auctions. So I would do as many keywords as makes sense. I would experiment with some loose broad match modified keywords where not all the words in the phrase are modified because that can show you on some long tail searches that uh, not as many people are advertising on. Um, and that would be my strategy, Chris. Chris, in general, do you agree with the smaller the budget, the more you need to focus on going wide? as wide, Not to the point where you're not getting good traffic, but as wide as possible that still makes sense because you got to get low cost per clicks. Yeah. Yeah, I no, I completely agree. I think the my think about it this way. Um, I work with a lot of B two B companies, so with B two B, I'm not low budget. I'm uh, I'm more specifically low search volume, uh, low searches. Let's let's call it that. There's just not a whole lot of searches for you know, uh, you know very specific things. Sometimes that B two B falls into. So mm-hmm. um, absolutely, I I always am fearful of a B two B client who's like. I need uh, B2B leads within a 10 mile radius that uh, want to, you know, that want help with their Google uh, or with their, with their Excel spreadsheets, you know, need a cell Excel spreadsheet person database kind of thing. And I'm like 10 mile radius. I mean, that's a nightmare. You have to have volume. So I think about it the same way. I think you're exactly right. And uh, that's great advice. 